So I trained the model on the entire YouTube channel. I took one channel and put all the videos that it has inside of this YouTube agent. I took this channel as an example. This fella here is all into video editing and Premiere Pro tutorials. And as you can see, it's got 75 videos. So I took the link and I put all the 75 videos here inside of this YouTube agent. Now the agent knows the entire channel, knows every word that that guy ever told, right? Isn't that cool? And now you can ask whatever about that channel or whatever you are interested in based on that topic, of course, and it's just gonna give you the answer. It's just perfect and it's so powerful. Have a look at this. If I just now click on ask me anything here, I can ask whatever feels connected to, let's say Premiere Pro or video editing. For example, let's just go with how to zoom in. And then of course, it's just gonna spit out the answer. As you can see, it's really, really good. If this person wanted to ever create a course or something, he would pay thousands of dollars in order to create something like this for his website, to make a chatbot of his own, or to just have a custom GPT where he can send his clients so he doesn't have to, you know, waste a lot of time answering these simple questions because he already made that content. He made 75 videos and custom GPT devoured all of that. And now it knows everything about it. You know how much time this person can now save? Well, let's just say a lot. This person and a lot more people out there can be your clients if you decide to use custom GPT that way. Before I show you though, this is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not something that, you know, you can just do overnight. You still have to learn how it works. You have to practice and you have to just see whether this is for you or not. There is a free trial. You can use custom chat GP, custom GPT, not chat GPT. Custom GPT, you can use it free. I think it's seven days and yeah, within that time frame, you can learn a lot and then you can see whether or not you can do it. But there's a lot of people already doing it, and this is just a start. So what to do? Just Google for it. First, it is custom GPT like this. And usually, of course, OpenAI has the monopoly of Google, whatever, and it's just gonna be here. So custom GPT.ai, this is tool. And this is how the website is gonna look like. Build custom GPTs from your content. And you know, it's not working with YouTube videos only. It can work with PDF files. It can work whatever you put in there. It'll just understand and learn all about it. It's just good. There's a lot of use cases as well. You can see these use cases on the website. You can just go and see whether you have, you know, some particular purpose for this one. Or if you just want to make money with this one, if you want to make a side hustle for, from this one, well, let's just stay with me here and I'll show you how this works. So just create yourself an account, log in, and then this is going to be your dashboard. Here you have your usual statistics, right? I don't care about that now. Here are the agents here. If you want to create a new agent, just click on new agent here. And then a whole lot of things are going to open up. First of all, as you can see, most popular options is that if you have a website or your client wants to make a chatbot based on their website, this is the option that you're going to use. So what this means is that essentially they will just provide you with a website and all you have to do is to take that link. Just click on this button, just put the link here, whatever you want to use, and then you will just create an agent. And then what's going to happen, this agent, this tool is going to read the whole thing. So it's gonna read the entire website. The smallest bits of information that that website holds, it's, it's just gonna know it, all right? And when their clients come to ask any kind of question, whatever, they can have all the info inside of that little chatbot. They will save time, their customers will get the info faster, and of course they will be more happy about it. And then based on the purpose, they will, you know, decide to spend money on that website, bringing profit to the owner and that's why the owner needs this and that's why the owner wants you to make this for them and that's it in a nutshell that's it how it works people want this it's a new thing it's in demand and if you want to get onto this go right now because it's so popular and it's fresh right it's really fresh if you have any kind of interest in this just go and study the website it's really really good there are, of course, more options. WordPress file upload. This is going to be the most maybe used one because those people have a lot of files. They have a lot of PDF files. They have a lot of Excel tables, whatever. And they will usually provide you with a whole bunch of these things. 
which you can, of course, use to create this agent. And of course, it's just gonna be a combination usually. Sometimes people will give you the website, PDF files, whatever, and they will give you their YouTube channel. There's a lot of companies that have a YouTube channel and then they will just want that information there as well. Then there's integrations with Zapier. Of course, there's API option. You can put whatever, we can put whatever from Google Drive. There's a lot of things here as well, such as Notion, HubSpot, and of course, the people who would want this for sure are people into e-commerce. And this is gonna be one big pool of customers, right? So, I've already shown you how it works with YouTube. Let me just show you how it works, for example, with the file upload. All you have to do is to put in the files. I'll take one small example here. I've got a PDF file, which is about Shopify, whatever, simple tutorial. Just click on create here. And now from here, you will just name it, right? For example, I will just deal with the Shopify now. You can choose the avatar. You can essentially just upload your own, whatever you wanna do. You can change the colors of the messages, of the headers, and of course you can choose the background. On the advanced options here, there's agent title, there's avatar orientation, you know, these are not so important, right? And then of course, just click on save settings here, and then you can find your newly made agent here. Agents, just go on agents. You can go to all agents, which is located here. And then of course, all your agents are gonna be here. As you can see, I've got one document only here in comparison with my YouTube agent, which Red actually watched 75 videos. As you can see, you can see the number of words stored inside of this agent. Now, as you can see Shopify, if you click on ask me anything, you can just click on it and of course just ask it anything. Let's just go, what is the secret for success on Shopify? Let's just do it like that, for example. And of course, it's just gonna give you what it knows from that file that we've uploaded. It's really cool. And it's, you know, it is simple. And that's why I honestly don't know why this is so expensive, right? For the simplest thing, just uploading a file, you can get $30, like just like this person. For more complicated things, you can get $650 like this person here is doing. And as I've told you, there's a lot of demand for it. That's why a lot of people are doing it. And the prices can vary, you know, 100, 300, 200. It's just, yeah, yeah, it's just fresh. And you know, today even bakeries want a chat bot for their business, right? Also AI agents, that's practically the same thing, just a bit more complicated. But as I've told you, you if you wanna do this, you will have to study it a bit at first. You know, you'll just have to educate yourself. And then what I suggest is to start locally, all right? What do I mean by that? Well, just go around your neighborhood, right? Just go around and see what kind of businesses operate within your area. And, you know, you know people, you know the language, you know how they work. Sometimes you know someone that has a company or a website or whatever, and then just ask around. And that way you can practice, of course, make yourself gigs on Fiverr. And one more thing is gonna be super, super good. If you make yourself an Instagram channel or something like that, because yeah, the marketing is gonna be important. That way you can showcase what do you have in your store. You can showcase your work to people and there's gonna be a lot of followers and then you will just build that slowly, right? It is gonna take time. You can get a few clients here and there, but it is gonna take time to build this from the ground up. But when you're done with it, you have a new thing which is not gonna go anyway. If you want a more detailed approach, if you want a more detailed tutorial about this one, write me down in the comments and I'll do it, but I think there's not a lot to it more. You just have to go and see how it functions for you and whether you can understand it or not, but it's just simple, right? So yeah, wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.